cloud development environments are relatively new. They allow you to interact with the development environment in your browser rather than installing things locally on your computer. That is especially great news for people who don't have much disk space left for a local Docker installation. I already experimented with DDEV and Gitpod in the past. As far as I know many contributions were made by Ofershall. Now GitHub launched their own cloud dev environment, Codespaces. The DDEV team already provides support for it, therefore it's time to take it for a spin. Because I currently work a lot with Craft CMS, I use this as an example. The trickiest part was the Vite integration, but we will get to that in a second. Launching a new code space is really easy on GitHub if the repository supports code spaces. The initial setup currently takes like 3 minutes or more. But you don't have to install anything locally, you just need your browser. It's just magical. First the dev container JSON will install Docker in Docker and the DDEV integration for code spaces. After initial setup the post create command bash script is executed. This can be completely be customized. There is a Visual Studio command view creation log to see the whole output of it. In my case the script triggers ddev start, ddev composer install, ddev npm install and the craft installation via crafts command line tool. You could also pull in an existing database from a live server in this step via ddev pull. The tricky part was the V port, since DDEV's internal router can't be used on Codespaces. Codespaces handles the routing. Therefore we needed to create and expose another V port via regular Docker and switch to it whenever the project runs in a Codespaces environment. The new port 5174 is used in the config V PHP file and the V config JS file whenever Codespaces is detected. After setup we need to switch the port's visibility to public. Now we can start the Vite dev server and develop within Codespaces. In my repository I need to run ddev npm run dev for that. The ddev site can now be opened in the preview editor. When we change things in the scss file, the style is changed immediately via Vite. The DDEV site can also be opened in a new browser tab. You can log into the backend, just like in a regular local DDEV project. See my repository or my blog post linked in the video description for more information. And make sure to join the DDEV Discord.